everyone welcome to little lovers channel uh, today let's uh, discuss a uh, very very important uh, notes on uh, chaucer so it's uh, very useful for your net and the set exams and please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, like and share so so that i get uh, inspiration to make uh, more videos uh, th let's see chaucer he was born between the 1340 to 45, 1345, probably uh, it's guessing it's London, and has a uh, further is prosperous wine merchant, and uh, he uh, come he comes to, he worked uh, in the court of Edward III and Richard II, and he married uh, Philippa Royd, a lady. Uh, in waiting in the queen's household and uh, later he lived during they might ask the question that is the important points uh, and uh, which period Chaucer lived this is the answer Edward III that is uh, Edward III 1327 to 1377 Richard II 1377 to 1399 and Henry IV 1399 to 1413 so he was the first poet to be buried in Westminster Abbey, known uh, now it's known as the Poet's Corner. After him, so many poets are burned there. So Arnold called the Chaucer as a father of English poetry. Chaucer has uh, many names and titles, so I'll give these uh, important uh, points. Uh, please make down. So in the Legend of Good Women, that is the Chaucer's work. The nine legends are this is the name, it goes like this Cleopatra, Thesbe, Dido, Hypespil, Media, Lycura, Ariandin, Philomela, Phyllis, and Hyperminster. So Dryden rewrote Can and Dryden, Dryden rewrote the Canterbury Tales in modern English. It was Dryden who wrote the contemporary tales in modern English. It's Dryden. Okay, keep in mind. Next, he was the first national poet of England. And uh, Dryden said about him as here is God's plenty. As a title given by Dryden. And uh, another one, in quote, a rough diamond and must first be polished here he shines out quote so Boccaccio exercised a deep influence on Chaucer and uh, influencing uh, his work make him to write Canterbury Tales you know that on diplomatic mission he was sent to, uh, to Italy where he met he here is Chaucer I'm just talking uh, Chaucer in this old video he met Petrarch and Boccaccio. He makes a clear reference of Petrarch in his Clark's tale. So he is called as a father of English poetry, not only that, and also grandfather of English poet, a novel. Grandfather of English novel. Okay. He is called morning, morning Star of Song. See, we know only the Morning Star of Renaissance. We know this Morning Star of Song, which is also called as Morning Star of Song. So Arnold says about him as Arnold, Matthew Arnold, uh, Chaucer lacks not only the ascent of Dante, but also the high seriousness. So he is the first one to use, uh, he, Chaucer is the first one to use the Octave Rima in the book of Duchess. Octave Rima is the eight uh, syllable line in couplet rhyming. So Chaucer is the first to use heroic uh, complete in the work of, called uh, The Legends of Good Women. Heroic couplet has a 10 syllable line rhyming in, in couplets that is a decasyllable couplet. Chaucer's used uh, rhyme royal in Trollius and Crusade. So here, see, uh, in uh, the Book of Duchess, Activrima, he used. So, The Legend of uh, Good Women, he used. Heroic couplet 
and here rhyme royal is the first time he used in trollius crusader it's a very important point my friends next uh, rhyme royal is a 10 syllable line arranged in seven line stanza as a a b a b b c c chaucer's a trollius a trollius uh, and crusader is a called novel in verse so in uh, the in the house of fame chaucer resemblance closest to dante's divine comedy wg long called the prolax to the canterbury tales as the prologue to modern fiction because of its realism the general prologue of the canterbury, uh, canterbury tales contains 858 lines the general plan of the canterbury tales it's taken from boccaccio's uh, work called decameron in canterbury the pilgrims could be seen going to thomas a bucket in the month of april he gave pen picture of 21 pilgrims in his work in this work thomas a um, bucket at the name of a place uh, and a temple with uh, let's uh, they call as that as a temple so had chaucer written and prose it is possible has trollius uh, and crusader and not written since pamela would be celebrated as first english novel by s d neil so here s d neil says that it's a trollius Trolli and crusader it's a first english novel Uh, usually we call the richardson's uh, pamela's is a uh, called as the first uh, english novel it's not uh, that so so edward uh, edmund spenser in this in his fiery queen called chaucer as a well of english undefiled nivel coghel interpreted young uh, canterbury tales in 20th century english all but called chaucer as uh, the earliest of the great moderns and the morning star of renaissance there's a name morning star of renaissance it's called by albert okay dryden called chaucer this i already said that's the father of english poetry chaucer found his native tongue a uh, dialect and left it a uh, language it's uh, said by lovis So Chaucer is the earliest of the great moderns, as said by Matthew Arnold. If Chaucer is the father of English poetry, he is the grandfather of English novel, which I gave a statement earlier. It's said by J.K. J.K. Chesterton. Here is uh, God's plenty. I already told this. It's uh, said by Dryden. Oakley wrote a famous poem. the regiment of princes on the death of chaucer this is a very important point of live so uh, wrote the regiment of princes so next chaucer and langlord died in the same year 1400 chaucer has been criticized for presenting about courts and cultivated classes and neglected the suffering of the poor although in canterbury tales uh, 120 stories were planned but only 24 were completed chaucer introduced felicity in english so longest tale longest tale of canterbury tales is night tales and chaucer uh, has been called the prince of plagiarist plagiarist you know the one who copy so chaucer was not in any sense a poet of the people it said by hudson the work of his life can be divided into three periods this we know french period it's between 1359 to 1372 so during this time chaucer translated roman de la rose a french poem written uh, during 1200s he also wrote the book of dutch uh, sorry book of the duchess uh, an elegiac uh, poem that shared much with the uh, contemporary uh, french poetry of the time but also departed from that poetry in important ways chaucer's extensive reading of latin poets 
such as uh, Bothos uh, also influenced his work. He was uh, influenced by French masters as Goylan de Machuat, Jane de Mion, and Guillaume de Lores. So, uh, next is next Italian period. Uh, 1372 to 85. Uh, Chasses have been to Italy and came in personal contact, as I said, Petrarch and Boccaccio. The important period, uh, works of this period are Trollius and Crusade, The Parliament of Fools, The House of Fiends, and The Legend of Good Women. Let's discuss these uh, summary of these works later. Uh, next is uh, English period 1386 to 1400 that is the famous work Canterbury Tales were presented in this period and you know from where it uh, get influenced from Boccaccio's work okay thank you and do share the video if you like and please uh, do the uh, like uh, hit this like button and do subscribe to the channel